Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Vincent and this is Good Grub Almighty. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I just want to take a moment and say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to this channel recently. Um, just the other day I was at like 37 subscribers and now I'm at like 250 within just the last few days and I just, that's so awesome, I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much, it means so much, it encourages me and I appreciate all the encouraging comments. I really appreciate it. Um, I just love cooking and um, I enjoy teaching so it's a great way to do both. Um, so with that being said, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, uh, I just ask that you please subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications so you get weekly updates on when I'm posting new stuff. Remember, on this channel, I'll always be posting delicious, affordable, and easy meals to make. Because, let's face it, I'm a busy guy, you're busy people. Uh, we ain't got time to be making a bunch of crazy, complicated stuff. We want to eat good and we want to eat quick. And that's what I'm all about. Uh, anyway, tonight, without getting further into this, let's get into it. We're having wings. Who doesn't love wings? I love wings. And I'm sure you love wings. We're having buffalo wings and lemon pepper wings. And it's so cheap. I'm not even kidding you. I bet I have $12 invested in this. I'll show you guys the ingredients and we'll get started. So here we are with our ingredients. We have a four pound package of chicken wings. And uh, I got this all this stuff at Walmart. They were $9. Can't beat it. And uh, these uh, seasoning packets uh, a classic buffalo and a lemon pepper. They were only a dollar a piece and also from Walmart. You can't beat that. So for eleven dollars we're eating four pounds of wings tonight and it's going to be amazing. Now you guys know what we're working with tonight. Let's go ahead and cut these chicken wings up because they're whole pieces. We're going to have to cut them up and separate them. And also um, I already got my uh, Bear Hoss smoker uh, the coals going. Tonight I took the time to actually start some coals because I prefer my wings to be cooked low and slow. Um, but don't worry, if you don't have like a barrel house smoker like I'm going to be using tonight, don't worry about it. Because I also cook them on the grill all the time and they turn out just fine. And also, I've made them in the oven before and they turn out great. You, also, you just need like a, uh, uh, like a bigger version of one of these, uh, an insert, uh, a grill insert or whatever, so that they're not just sitting in all their own juices losing their flavor. Um, so you can cook them in the oven, you can cook them on the grill. And, but tonight we're going to cook them in the barrel hot smoker and they're going to be amazing. I'm telling you right now, if you have a chance to cook them on slow, that's the way to go. So this wing's still in a whole wing state and we need to do something about that. We need to get rid of this wing tip and separate the flat from the drumstick. All you need is a sharp knife and a cutting board and you're on your way. Cut right down the middle, down the joints. And as you can see, they'll separate it super easy. This wing tip can make good for broth, but we're not doing that tonight. We're making wings. Toss that in the trash. Put your wings back in here and repeat. Do that to all of them. Cut off the tip and separate them. It's that simple. Once you've got them all separated, I'll show you what to do next. All right, here we are. We got all the wings uh, cut up and separated. And this is the part that's super easy. You're not going to believe how simple this is. I've watched a lot of videos recently on how other people are making wings and boy they're, they're, they're going through a lot of steps just to make wings and uh, look how simple ours is. A one dollar seasoning packet, set it in there, mix it up. That's all you gotta do. Can you believe it? Can you believe how simple it is? You couldn't get much more affordable and convenient than that. For under twelve dollars and five minutes I've gotten these things cut up and seasoned. I mean how awesome is that? Look at these. We're just waiting on the charcoal to heat up and they're going on the grill. Alright friends check that out. That is a charcoal chimney. Um, these are awesome. You put paper in the very bottom of it there and charcoal on the top and light it. Uh, no lighter fluid needed and it makes the perfect coals. Let's see how it turns out. Yeah! Look at that. Perfect coals. Turn them around a little bit. Now we have perfect coals. Our temperature's climbing up to 250 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and put our wings on there and get these bad boys going. Uh, the, the lower, the slower, the better. Oh yeah, can you guys hear that? It's sizzling already. Make sure they have a little space. These are going to be amazing. 
I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a good distance between the the coals and the food. And that's what's going to give us our awesome uh, low and slow. It's going to be great. There we go. We're going to close this bad boy up. All right, my friends, the time has come. The wings are done. I'm super excited. I love wings. They're absolutely delicious. Uh, so anyway, I'm letting them cool for just a minute, and then we're gonna we're gonna plate them up and we're gonna dig in. Here it is, my friends. All right, everybody, it's that time. It's time for us to dig into that good grub. I can't wait. Um, with no further ado, let's do this. This here is the lemon pepper. We're gonna try it without any ranch dressing at first. Hmm. That is amazing. So good, full of flavor. I actually gave it a squirt of lemon over the top of them just for an extra kick and it's really good. I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in heaven. I don't even need ranch. Mm. So good. All right, let's try it. Let's try a buffalo. Let's try a buffalo. Mm. That is good. Man, I honestly don't know which one's better. They're both really good. Buffalo's got a nice kick to it, um, but it's not too hot. It's not overpowering or anything. It's just so good. And since we cooked it low and slow, they're so tender and they fall off the bone. But hey, I'll show you guys a little trick to these flats to get the meat off of them. Um, so just take your flat just like that, kind of pinch, pinch the end there, break it loose, and then just bite it and pull it away. Look at that. little wing tip for you. I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me eat. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you so much for all the new subscribers. It means so much to me and my family, me and my son. Um, we're just so grateful and thankful to have uh, uh, so many supporters out there and all the encouraging comments. Um, thank you again. I can't thank you enough. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe uh, and hit that notification bell for uh, notifications for uh, weekly uploads of delicious affordable and easy meals that you and your family and friends will absolutely love. Until next time, this is Vincent with Good Grub Almighty. You guys have a good night.